Well, it is uh, unusual nowadays a bit, and uh, certainly none of us guys in our 50s or 60s would, I don't know anybody to tell you they'll be coaching when they're near 80. Uh, but I think you, you do it as long as you enjoy it. I, I do enjoy the, the competition and uh, the college style uh, of coaching. So, and again, we're, we're trying to do some things that uh, have not been achieved at South Carolina. So our goals are still out there. And, and hopefully we're, we're putting the, the right coaching staff together and getting the players uh, to make, make those things happen. Coach, in the other room, you mentioned the uh, all-conference voting. And yeah. Could you go yeah. Ahead? Yeah. My, uh, my answer when I rehearsed, rehearsed, I knew it was going to come up. Uh, my answer was that some coach made a, a dumb, stupid mistake by not having Tim Tebow uh, in, in his selection process. Uh, we all know he's the best quarterback in this conference. He's the best in the country. Uh, probably the best football player in the country. And uh, I think that uh, Tim Tebow and Danny Warfel uh, will probably go down in history as the two greatest quarterbacks to maybe play college football. I, re I really see them that way. And, uh, and what happened is that I was the dumb guy that, uh, that uh, made the mistake. I did not put uh, Jevin Sneed's name in there. Uh, our director of op filled out the sheet. I can't tell you who we put in at left guard or right tackle or linebacker, anywhere. Uh, but usually a sports information guy or your director of ops fills it out. But, but I looked at it. I looked at it quickly. And uh, I was doing something that day, and I said, that looks fine to me. So uh, this all came out Wednesday. And yesterday morning, I'm driving in and, and called our director of ops. And uh, I said, certainly we had Tim Tebow's quarterback, didn't we? And uh, a little quiet for a moment. <laughs> he said, actually, he said, actually, we put Jevin Steed in there. I said, well, why, why in the world did that? And, I, and I'm embarrassed about this. I really am. I, I feel badly. I apologize to Tim in Florida that, that we made a stupid mistake. And uh, he just said something about we already had 10 Gators. Maybe it didn't think it was a big deal. I said, well, this is a big deal. And uh, I'll take the blame, and I, I take full responsibility. I, I did not look at that sheet. Uh, but anyway, between that then and Coming here today, I called Charlie Bloom, uh, the SEC media relation director, and I said, I want to put my selection, change that South Carolina selection to Tim Tebow. He said, okay, we'll do it. So officially now, it, it, he, Tim Tebow is unanimous, and I, I screwed it up. I apologize. I messed it up by not looking at it. But that's the way it happened. And uh, I have great admiration for Tim Tebow. Uh, he and Danny Warfel are two of the finest young men to ever play this game, sincere Christian young men that uh, live, live the Christian life. They don't just talk it. And uh, what Urban Meyer and those guys have done last three years, uh, uh, they're the best in college football. Simply as that. And uh, we messed it up. We, I messed it up. Coach, you look at a guy like Lane Gibbons. Do you see him as maybe a younger version of yourself involved? I'm not. I, I refer all questions about those guys to somebody else. All right, I'm not, I don't need to talk about them. I, we, we got our own issues at South Carolina. And uh, I think uh, the commissioner is trying to get all of us to worry about our own problems, our own team, our own program, and that's what I'm trying my best to do. Go right here and then right here. Right there and right here. Campspurrier.com, get a little advertisement here. Yeah, group uh, came uh, last summer and uh, want to do a little internet blog called campspurrier.com for youngsters. Uh, we talk a little bit about football, fundamentals of football, and this, that, and the other, but basically it's uh, a, a website to teach youngsters to do things right, uh, to exercise when they come home after school, eat correctly, take the trash out, make your bed, all that kind of stuff, and uh, show respect for your teachers and parents and all that kind of stuff. So it's just sort of a little educational type uh, campsite for youngsters, and I, I think it'll be beneficial, hopefully, for a lot of young boys and girls. Coach, can you talk about the first game with NC State? You guys took care of them pretty easily last year. Well, it wasn't that easy. Uh, we scored some late. Uh, it sounded like it was easy, but it was a, it was a struggle early. Uh, they, they stymied us very well, uh, our offense, early in the game, 
and uh, their quarterback got hurt. So we were very fortunate to beat them uh, by the score it was. Uh, but NC State uh, closed very strongly last year. Uh, I think they won four or five in a row there towards the end. And uh, it, it's going to be a very difficult opener. We know that. And we're, we're looking forward to opening up on national TV, ESPN. ESPN, the SEC Network. Uh, we're supposed to say that, I think. <laughs> so, we, uh, we appreciate our relationship with ESPN. Dave Brown and those guys have been super to South Carolina. And uh, we appreciate uh, the exposure we've gotten on Thursday Night Football.